Hello everybody, welcome to the Chilling Leave Board Podcast, where last episode left off in a sprawling gunfight between these Pentec Special Ops and our werewolf pups. They're not even pups anymore, I wouldn't even call them pups, they're really showing their worth. Definitely Roxy is getting out there too and getting some action in. But these people seem to be deadly, as their weapons are more than modern and have plenty of upgrades on them, and these people seem to be very, very well trained. But, first, I am Steve the Storyteller, and welcome to A Werewolf the Apocalypse Dark Moon Rising, a chronicle by us, Chillingly Bored. Hey, Jackson, who are you? I'm Jackson. Which is Anthony. There you go. Did we lose Connor? Ain's muted. Oh. No, I'm not. Oh. He's quiet. Okay, he's being quiet. You can't hear him. I was just waiting for my turn. I I did say your turn. You're still super quiet, man. Oh. Oh. Hello, it is me. (laughs) Um, I play Ain. The child murderer. The end. That's that's about. There you go. We'll just come barreling into this next episode as gunfire is erupting from the hallway and Ain is going after what seems to be a sniper. Sniper. So, who wants to go first? We'll just kind of get into this. We can go with Ain because he didn't get a whole lot of action before. Ain, let's do you. Let's go, man. I jump in the direction of the bad dude with the snipper rifle. Okay, you get about halfway there. You're in the street. <clears throat> I'm guessing you're bolting in that direction anyways? Yes. Okay, you get to that building. It seems to be about a three-story, maybe even four-story apartment building. Um, you know, I'm just going to climb up it because why not? <laughs> Make, you know what? I'm just gonna let you do it because that's cool. Why not? You get up to the roof, and there is a small um, where the stairs come up, and that that has a door on it. And you get up right there, and if you move, you you don't see anybody yet. You just got up there. So what are you gonna do? You're just at the ledge right now. Can I see him? Like when I peek over? You don't see anybody because they're right now because there's the you know when a stairs go up in an apartment building to the very roof yeah, there's, there's the a little box square. Kind of, yeah, there's a square. Yeah. There you go. That's kind of in your way right now. It's called a landing. Okay, well, I'm going <coughs> to Anthony. sneak Thank on you. up and peer around and see if I can find the dude. Okay. So you get up. Make me I gosh my brain okay abilities and attributes I'm not 100% too familiar with this system too much looking at my stuff for? perception and alertness with a plus 2 because of oh, your because height I have the dice pool things uh oh sorry yeah i meant a, uh with a plus 2 with so a so would that be in mod hold on I'm looking. Yeah, mod is... I was there. right there! There we go. Yep. Sheeshkers. You was don't... that really it? Wow. You stole what? it. What? Wow. You don't hear Shit. anything. I wasn't... Whatever. You don't hear... <laughs> How is this even possible? I don't think... That doesn't look right. <laughs> I don't think the mod is supposed to be the plus two modifier yeah you know what just roll um just roll and then add plus two afterwards so it's a three then okay so that's what the modifier is supposed to do and then well it doesn't so your first roll would have been a negative two without the modifier just roll your um the the last roll i did with the one success is the stuff without modifier. Oh gosh, that's confusing. We'll just go with one, and I'll say 
that your ear twitches and you think you hear something right behind the the landing right right uh in front of you essentially if you go around there'll be you think you hear something like right um oh god yep you hear something on the uh, oh on the other side of the landing is what i meant to say So he's on the other side of the stairwell square. That's what you hear. Yes, your that's your your kind of twitches and <clears throat> you get a feeling that's where they might be. Can I just jump on top of the little square and no. then see him and pounce? Roll no, I can't do that. A dexterity plus athletics. Sure. I like that. Go for it, man. Two. You scale up and you look over. And there stands a very confused female in a very tight latex suit with a DVL sniper rifle and a laser. Why is she confused? Because she doesn't know where the he where the hell he went. Until she looks up and a giant snarling Ayn is there. Beast in my rough uh in my rough Galbro voice I say peekaboo and whap <laughs> Make me a brawl. Uh you know what? Uh just make yourself a combat roll. Do what you wanna do. Grapple, kick, punch glaive her, bite her whatever you would like <clears throat> does it, wait, hold on does the grand oh wait hold on, I gotta see something real quick there is no so, way the glaive does that say again wait, what does it do? keep talking, go ahead wait, 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 wait the, the glaive does what? oh my god, it does, plus 4 damage wow Oh, ye so question. Mm -hmm. So it says body slam. Could I like grab the roof, <clears throat> jump over, and just swing into them against the wall and pancake them? Yes. <laughs> Yay! Um, do I do the right roll, the damage left one? Roll. I guess left roll. Up, up, up. <clears throat> Cancel. Left roll. Body slam. One. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> you hear a crack as you just thud into her and send her rolling almost off of the building but she stands up with a surprising amount of almost gymnastics athletic ability agility uh, agility there you go my apologies and she looks uh, at you, <clears throat> and her eyes shine an emerald, almost a nasty emerald green. She goes, A flip. So you... Huh. So that's what you fuckers are like. She's... Mm, just, just to tick her off, because I feel like this would tick her off, I'm going to say, attractive. Thanks, sweetheart. Dashing beautiful I'll take that as a compliment and she flips back her black hair and goes I'll have to see you later though honey I'm not a fan of hand to hand combat with the nasty fucking disgusting creatures you are and she takes her hand leans back and she does almost like a cartwheel off of the roof, and she's jumps down from the building. She just dropped. You can chase after her if you would like. I'm gonna pull out my artifact sword thing. Your clave? clave. Yeah. yeah, clave. I just keep forgetting what it's called. It's and a chase. Okay. Make me a dexterity 
Just a plain dexterity roll. Uh, what? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just a Dexter plain dex roll. Because you're just using your dexterity to get to where I was like fast as uh, possible. No, no ability, just dexterity. Let's go dexterity plus athletics. Just for the hell of it, sure. I just burned it, got rid of athletics! <laughs> <laughs> Three. Don't bring it back! You're right on her tail. Make one more. Uh, same roll? Yep. You get and right up the behind Spot. her. Are you just gonna attack her? How close are you getting? Just curious. Um. Wait, what? Huh? How close are you getting? Uh, I want to be able to melee her because that's all I have. So. Mm -hmm. Hit her in the back. Cleaver in half. Yes. Kill her. Oh, I love that. Finish her. Okay. I want you to make me just a plain dex roll. Flip. Round two. One. Fight. Um, what? I'm concerned. Why are you rolling a 34? <clears throat> You go to swing at her, and she immediately turns around and looks you straight in the eyes. I want you to make me a willpower roll with a difficulty of eight. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, I don't think there is a willpower roll. So, roll three make dice. a will? Roll three d10, Just... yeah. Roll three d10, okay. Mm -hmm. D ten three. Um, hey, if you times mine by three, I have more than her, and therefore, yes. Okay. For one turn and one turn only, you freeze up in horror, as suddenly you see dreams of people ripped apart, battlefields madness that you can't even explain and as from a camera's point of view we see the fine lady walk, take a few steps forward kiss <clears throat> Aim on the cheek and sprint off as he is in a trance when your eyes open and the swirling color disperses She's no longer there. And it's gone. So she be vanished? Yep. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I love those abilities and so much. They're so great. I have... No idea where she is, I'm guessing. Oh, no. she's She's gone. There's no way. Uh, I'm going to be cautious and return to the building. <laughs> are you running? Or you said you're going to be cautious, right? So I'm going to be cautious. Okay, you get to the building. <clears throat> and this is where I'm guessing you're going to just go through the stairwell and get the hell up to the first floor as fast as possible. Yeah, and then I'll be all behind right, all the SWAT floor? people. Okay, you're going for the stairs. You get up to about what floor are were you on, Jackson? I forgot. The sixth floor. Six. Correct. I think you're am, I think I'm on the seventh. Okay, let's go seventh. That's fine. You get up to the sixth f floor, in, and you see yeah. dead bodies everywhere as you go up. Innocent people slaughtered, ripped in half, bullet ridden. And you finally get up to the floor where Roxy and Aen are. And as you burst through, you end up behind a girl with um, shaved hair on one side with almost like a jagged mark, braided hair um, coming down 
from that side, a large X scar on her cheek, and beautiful brown hair flowing off from the other side that's not shaved. She wears a black shawl, and she looks of a different um, ethnicity than American. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what she is, because, you know, different ethnicity, though. <clears throat> Probably around Middle East. She looks Middle Eastern, almost. Scars litter her shoulders and arms as she is firing an AK-47 with a silencer, a laser sight, and a Cobra reticle. It is a full metal bodied AK, and she has night vision goggles on. And she is, as she finishes spraying, she starts going uh, into hello? another room. Hey, yo. Hello? Um, is everybody so here? Yeah. Yes. So she's just it shooting. I went quiet. Oh, I've been talking and rambling this entire time. So she's just well, shooting innocence. Uh, no, she was shooting at <clears throat> Jackson and Roxy. Oh well, then I'm just gonna, you know, grab her as, by the neck as and I said, <laughs> throw her to the wall. Well, wait, before... wait, wait, wait. Where the hell are we at? I everything cut off okay. after we were trying to figure out what floor I was on. Okay. Um, Ain got up to that floor and he's behind the girl who was shooting which she has an AK with a silencer laser sight and a cobra reticle and a full metal body has night vision goggles on and black shawl different ethnicity scars covering her body and awesome brown hair with one shaved side there you go and she okay. right before you are able to act Aiden, she dives into another room after firing off her last bullets, which is like three. So this all happens fairly, fairly quickly within like three seconds. She dives into another room. So I couldn't. You nope. Mean. Oh, that was an accident. Well then. So now you guys are all together. So. Aiden, I'm going to let you go first, and then we're going to go to Jackson. So now what do you want to do? She just dived into another room. You can see the staircase. right. If you take uh, to your left where Jackson and Roxy are, the stairs are just off to your left. You know this from probably looking into the building from where they were. Can I just, like... Since she disappeared and they're there, they can handle her. So I'm going to go up to the meeting room. Okay. You go up a floor? <clears throat> I guess, yeah. Okay. At this point, you hear more gunfire. It sounds a lot lighter and it's a lot faster. It's a spray of gunfire and you hear a very solemn somber voice and he seems to be talking a little bit lower it's Mayo and he goes I'm getting the fuck out of here boss I'm sorry seems like we've got some people in and I got shit to do sorry boss I'm out and you hear him sprinting off and you hear over a radio, which was probably Ricard, since he's dead. You hear, God damn it, don't you fucking leave. Son of a bitch, I'll handle this myself. Mira, let's get him. Get to the conference room, that's the most important part. Okay. I go to the conference room. Okay. I have to stop them. You, so you are now on the eighth or let's go ninth floor. So you're just one more, Jackson. Are you? What are you doing now? Um, probably gonna head to the top floor. Okay. You are now with Aiden, and you guys are on the ninth floor. Someone is starting to sprint up the stairs. You can hear them about a floor below you. Still firing at Innocents. And by the way, Innocents are freaking the hell out as Aiden comes through and they start just running because they are f fearful at your look. 
Just because I'm a bear, boy. <laughs> oh wait, no, I don't look like a bear, do I? Oh, woof, woof. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> but can okay. I just like you know sit at right on the corner so once they come around, I just whap with my axe. Sure. You sit at the corner and just roll. <laughs> roll preparation. Roll whatever you roll your clave. Sorry, my apologies. Clave? Would that be an attack? Okay. Combat. Very bottom. Grand clave. Ciao. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Oh. I just stop making that noise. Ten. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me see. Three tens. Um, the girl who was called Mary, uh, Mira comes busting around the corner and flicks her gun at you. And as you, she does this, you smack it out of her hand. And why don't you just tell me how you want to kill her? You rolled more than her health pool. Oh. Oh, no, you rolled her entire health pool. So. Wait, so... Have you guys not heard anything I've said for, like, the past five minutes? No, dude, I haven't heard anything. No. You okay? Okay. Oh, Lovely. no. I, uh, uh, what, so my I, internet decided to take a shit uh, on my computer. Yeah, so I switched my call to my phone so I could hear what the hell was going on. Mm-hmm. Then I switched back so I could hear what the hell was going on after my internet decided to fix itself. I did but then and I then I've been like talking, and apparently when I pulled my cord out of my computer, mm-hmm. it automatically muted the mic. Oh, okay. So uh, what did you say though? Is there anything you wanted to do? Well, I was gonna. I when you asked if what I wanted to do, I was just gonna say head up to the top floor. Mm-hmm. But then the I heard you on attack. That. In combat or whatever, the Grand Clave, yeah. I was asking why it was strength because it was um, just curiosity. That's mostly in the rules. It's probably just like how much strength you put behind your blow, probably. Hmm. If you want to, we can do decks for you just because. Uh, you're using it is just like a... the type of weapon that I have isn't really a strength weapon. Yeah, it's that's like what a... I... We can switch it up for you if that's okay. If you want to switch that, you're hey, fine with doing that. I'm fine if we switch it up. I'm fine if we leave it at all. It's, it's cool. just my attacks I'm... are going to do shit. All so... other attacks are dexterity, anyways. And guys, again, we're just doing this for story. So rules and everything are kind of iffy and we're just trying to get through it so if you guys are really heavy about the rules and stuff I don't care too much but if you guys really really care I will ha- I'll just read the entire book if you want me to like I have like three times but it's still a lot to go through it kind of sounded like when you said <laughs> I don't care that you don't care about their opinion. It's just like, ouch. No, I, I really care about your guys' opinion, but it's more story for me. I really want this to be more a, a rule of cool and kind of deal rather than being a, like hammering down on the rules so hard. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Yes. How do you want so. to kill her, Aiden? because you rolled her entire health pool of successes. Plus, you got With... three crits. Ten. So, you know what? Just tell me how you want to brutally yeah. murder this girl. As she comes around the corner and points her gun at me, I grab the barrel, pull my battle axe back, and whap wide, right in the side, cutting her... Three fourths of the way through, and since she came around the corner, she's heads down the stairs, hits the platform at the bottom of the stairs, take her gun, just point it with one hand, and then load the mag on her. Oh, that's completely fine. Bullets riddle her then, blood, yeah. sprays, and the smell of intestines and stomach is. Oh wait, wait! Isn't there like a grenade thing on the bottom, or was that just special for the one dude? Just that guy. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> and as much as you want to shoot a grenade into somebody, it wouldn't blow up at that range unless you're any. Never mind. Okay, whatever. I she finished the mag and just dropped the gun down the stairs. Mutilated. 
So yeah. Yay! And then I I follow follow Jack Shin <clears throat> up to the conference room. Jackson, Jackson. As you do Jackson. this, as you almost get to the door, you hear heavy gunfire. This was the original shots you heard. This thing sounds like the uh, the submachine gun that one guy was using, but like bigger, bigger. Yeah, definitely. It sounds bigger. like a belt-fed gun. Yeah. Glass breaking. You can hear polyester walls and OBS walls being shredded apart because offices are kind of poorly built, except the steel beams. So yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, um, I'm pretty sure Jack and Jack is ahead of me, so you probably get to take the first initiative. I'll go after you, Jackson. A large man. Steps around the corner. He's got to be at least seven feet tall. Dude is made of pure muscle, wearing sunglasses. His head is entirely shaved except for um, a mohawk that goes down the middle, and it's laid flat. He has a large beard, a cigar in his mouth, a large Kevlar vest on his body, a large... It's more like a small sword than a knife but it's on the front of his chest with a mag over his shoulder into a backpack as he carries an M60 so basically tactical jungle dude but by and large he also has tattoos lying his shoulders okay and how how big is sorry what continue uh no you said how big is what well, i was gonna say how big is the distance between the two of us um it's a hallway god i i'm so bad with distance guys about 12 maybe 20 feet let's go 20 30 feet down the hallway um I'd go with 30, Angelo. Let's go 30, yeah. What what I would like to do... Okay. Browd in the middle of a hallway. Okay. And then... Go into the ceiling title. Well, I also, after that, I want to use a rage point and shift into Glabro. Okay, sounds good to me. And then I want to run along the floor, pretty much on all fours, mm -hmm. to like kind of stay down. Okay. And get get behind him, Ooh. and then swing my clave up his back. Okay. Like trying to like cleave him into type of thing. Roll, my friend. <laughs> Start at the butt crack. Okay. Let's see what you roll. Oh, I was like, wow, five successes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, wait, that was my oh, last dear. roll. <laughs> well, what am I rolling? Uh, Grand Clave. Just Grand Clave? Hey! Okay. So, where did you want to attack him? Like, what were you trying to go for? Back. It's so, back. like, I want to cast Shroud in oh. front of us, like, in between us, so he can't see me. I gotta look at armor real quick. Just to see how much you do in all truth. Let's see. Gosh, I already forgot where armor was. This book is big, guys. There's a lot of stuff in it, okay? I think it's Soak of Four. Okay, he's wearing a vest, which is three. Okay. <clears throat> That means he takes one damage. <laughs> one damage. So you tear into the back of his armor and your blade goes through striking blood on the floor. The thing is, is he doesn't even flinch as he turns around and looks you straight in the face. I also want to spend a rage point. Okay. And as soon as he turns around... I want to shove Stab the bat. In the eyeballs. 
oh, I want to stow like the, how I've got the big blade on one end and the smaller blade on the other. Mm -hmm. After I slice up his back, he turns around. I want to stab him in the like go to stab him in the face with the back end. Okay. Roll. I'm guessing slave again. Wow. You. The funny. Missed. Completely missed. Entirely. <laughs> Stationary target. The As... funny part is, is how tense it makes it for me because the number it just says success and it's blank, but the yep. number doesn't appear for a good 10 seconds. Okay. And it's like, what's happening? <laughs> the same for me. So, viewers, put this world to zero. <clears throat> this big guy look turns around and looks you directly in the face as you go to strike, and he just, all he does is move his body off to the right, and you completely miss. And he stands right in front of you, ch chewing his cigar, and he goes, I'm Olaf. You are? And he hits you. Oh, you know what? No. Fuck that. He's just gonna fucking shoot with the M60 because that sounds like so much fun. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> we're, he, <clears throat> we're next to a corner, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. There we go. Roll me. <clears throat> uh, dexterity plus athletics. Dexterity and athletics. Mm -hmm. Okay, he hits you. Um, let, how much would an M60 do? Let me. The rifle does eight. I'm not gonna have it do eight damage. That's kind of crazy. Well, is it is that bashing lethal or, or aggravated? Lethal. Um, yeah. Roll soak for me. A two. Okay. So you soak up. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Here we go. Okay, that's cool. You take five damage in lethal. As M60 rounds just start piercing you through the chest. Spraying into the glass behind you, and he's just smiling the whole time. Okay. So, where do what do I do for the damage? Like, where do I put that um, in? Okay. So, from what I know, the damage is weird for me, everybody. So, this might be kind of strange. Let's see. You are Jackson. I'm gonna look at the combat real quick and bruised. I think it's one, two, three, four, five. So I think you're here. Maybe. What? What's with the different forms of marking the thing? I have no idea. I think that's wound penalty. So. If it's just black, it's not. I'm not going to take any penalty for it. It's okay. You won't be taking any penalty sort of for it. You are wounded, though. And it <clears throat> fucking hurts. You just felt a sh probably a bullet the size of your thumb rip through you. So, yeah. Okay. Jackson? I mean, uh, Ain. What do you want to do? Um, so, he's not facing towards me. Nope. You see a pitch black hallway. You have no idea. All you hear is heavy gunfire. Oh, you have... yeah. Yep. Because he did the... Oh, Anthony, screw you. <laughs> you have no idea what's on that other side of the smoke. You've heard, Ooh. my name's Olaf. Uh, or Hi, I'm gonna run through the smoke. Okay. It's it's not really smoke, is it, though? It's, it's, it's whatever. just I'm a gonna pitch black. Run black. through the limit. Whatever. You're and gonna... I'm going to use my falling touch. Okay. Go for it. Um, oh, God. Hold on. You don't roll falling touch, so... <laughs> yeah, no. You just... Hold on. There you go. Move at him? I'm you just... <laughs> are... A what? In our room? Correct? Um... I am a lupus? Roll... Are you talking about... What's no, your dexterity fire, plus uh, medicine. Dexterity plus 
medicine. medicine. Mm -hmm. And I need to roll. Oh, that sucks. Medicine. Please work. Uh. <laughs> Did you roll? It still works. He falls. He falls cool. to his knees. And he's kind of just sitting there. He seems to be fighting it as he wants to, but he seems to be stuck for this round. At this point, Roxy is getting up to the top floor while you guys deal with Olaf. <clears throat> okay. My turn? Yep. Jackson. <clears throat> uh, I'm get I want to swing my clave at his head. Just go for it, my friend. Oh, yes. He, he, it's a coup. So, I know I said about the coup de gras, but this is kind of like a boss, so it does not count. Just putting that out there. and But he does get to hit him in the head automatically as he can't do anything. Two successes. Phase two, everybody. You hit him in the head. Hey, hey. I also yes. wanted to spend a rage point and okay. hit him again. Go for it. You know what? Just have fun. And I, I, I want to like cut him down the front this time. Okay, go for it, man. Cutting down front with a two, 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 three, five. So he takes two damage with another two damage on top of that. Okay. Oh, it's getting close. At this point, you hit him in the head, and his face hits off to the left, and blood starts to leak out. It's almost like a viscous pus that starts to fall from his head. And as you carve him down the front, you give him a large gas gash in the forehead down into his chest, and viscous, like black-like pus starts coming out, very thick. Um, coagulated blood almost and at this point and everybody who's kind of wondering Fomor or Fomari in plural they get special abilities such as the one girl who looked into Ain's eyes. Like a boss fight I have multiple faces planned out. They just got him really down in second. Suddenly his arm starts mutating and it starts ripping open and through ripping open comes black coagulated spiked blood covering his arm and becoming almost like a two times version giant claw arm that is fully protected in armor and he gets up to his feet and looks to you Jackson oh did I lose you guys no. Or are you guys just being quiet? Well, at least just not. waiting, waiting for this shit to happen, man. Okay. He, he said your name, so I was like, okay, With I don't need your that spot. claw. He is just going to charge into you and pick you up. You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna try to ram into you, and we'll see. What is that? What do I need to? Roll, um, athletics plus dexterity real quick. This is at, oh my god, he's in human strength, so that gives him, he gets, there we go. Oh god, I don't like the look of this. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, four successes. I rolled three. You about, just about, almost get out of the way as he clips you and grabs you with the one arm and swings you into the wall. You take, I don't know, let's just go with two for now. Two damage. Uh, do I need to roll soak? Oh, actually, yeah, roll soak first. And that would Bash. be dashing because you're being thrown into a wall. Okay, yeah, you take two damage because I was going to go with four. You are now crippled, mauled. It's cool. 
You're mauled. You get thrown into the wall, and your arm goes in a very wrong direction. It's not supposed to go that way. And you scream out in pain. Make a frenzy why, why, roll. Why do I have to? Why, uh, what? Uh, make a frenzy roll. Which is, by frenzy? the way, what would the moon be? Um, let's see. Yeah, a frenzy roll. You were just kind of embarrassed there. You flunked that. Should be. Make a willpower roll. So however much your willpower is. So 3d10? Yep. Okay. Just just wow. keep in mind that... Failed that. You go into a frenzy roll. You are going to kill anything in front of you now. Anyone, even if it's friendly, you will attack. God damn it. Um, it's a good thing I have a broken I arm, right? right? My turn, right? Yes, Jackson. It's your turn. Um, can I go behind his black mist so he can't see me? Yeah. Fade yeah, back I... into blackness. <laughs> Are you exactly. bailing? No, I'm not bailing. I just don't want to die. You don't have any damage yet, so. Yeah, but Disney in frenzy rope mode, and he'll attack me too. Jackson, yes, but the. Olaf is still standing and he seems really, really angry. And Olaf really wants Jackson. Well, I did, like, cut him up the back and front. You've hurt him, so he's not very happy about that. Okay. Same could be said with my character. Uh I'm going to take my wonderful little Grand Clave. I remember the name here this time and I'm just gonna do it in the back of his head you stab Oof. him right in the back of the head stab freaking I slice oh you slice you slice like, he's got a back back. Back. both hands over my head. head come down on his head okay and you do and you do a fuck ton of damage he starts bleeding and viscous black blood starts pouring out in droves and gallons and he turns around Roxy's not here so she doesn't get to make a turn Jackson have you made, made a turn I don't remember what for what Are, did you make a turn did you for what did you you attacked him right I think I'm trying to remember I've attacked him several times did you attack By... him this round no not yet Okay. I uh, I would like to use Mother's Touch. Okay, on yourself? If, if I can, yeah. You are in Frenzy right now, so I would oh, say fuck. you can't really do that, man. You can't make any um, magical abilities while in Frenzy, so... Okay, then I am going to kick this guy... Oh, by the way... In the chest... You go for that, but just aim. By the way, when you stab him, some of the blood gets on you, and it burns like hell. It doesn't hurt you. I'm just saying it's like blistering and festering on your skin. Jackson, you run forward. And in a frenzy. Well, if he still got me against the wall, then I was just going to kick him in the chest. Oh, yeah, I guess you'd be right. As he almost goes to turn and look at Ain, you kick him in the chest. And in a frenzy, you just start hitting and hitting and just keep punching and ripping. Your claws come out and you start tearing. And then you notice, ow, that kind of burns. And reel back and go up against the wall. Make me another willpower check. Okay. You think for a minute, and you're just about to go for Ain, and you you get up, your eyes glow, your fangs are out, your claws are out, and you go to charge at him, and just about as you start running, something just kind of clicks. 
and you stop. Hey, he's my friend. And you stand, and you both just kind of look at each other. That feral beast that's inside you took over. Your wolf, your rage, that corruption of the worm almost took you over. You just kind of stand, looking at each other. Is there anything you want to do? Uh, I'd like to use Mother's Touch. Okay, go ahead. And that would be medicine plus... Intelligence. Intelligence. You remember, you're better than I am. Well, I've got a dice pool set up for it, so... Oh, I see. Awesome. Okay, you heal two damage. So now you are... Sorry. Now you are wounded. So, with a wounded... Um, at this point, we're, we're hey, going to end it soon. Stuff, so, here, just a moment. At this point, you hear sirens. And they pull up in front of the building. Roxy comes running downstairs and waving her hand. She's like, that's the rest of them. We got to go now. I, they're safe. A helicopter's coming to pick them up. I don't think there's anybody else in this building. We gotta go. Now. If the police see us, we are fucked. And what that, floor are we on? The 10th. Or the 9th, sorry. Are we on the... You're on the okay, 10th. okay. My apologies. Yeah. Is that where we're gonna end it then? Yeah. With red and blue lights flashing... A scared Roxy who has tears in her eyes. She doesn't want to die. Seeing Jackson completely tore up, ribs kind of crushed in, and a really bad bent arm. Ain completely bloodied with blisters on his arms. Things don't look so good for the three. And that's where we'll leave it, everybody. I'm Steve the Storyteller, and welcome to Werewolf the Apocalypse. Dark Moon Rising. Joined by Connor and Anthony. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye.